Hey Bob, it's me today. I'm doing a series I haven't done in a little bit because uh, this next version is here. It's called Learning About Minecraft. It's a series where I teach you about Minecraft from all the way to the first ever version to now to this latest version, which is 1.14. Now, uh, I've done work throughout this time. You know, 1.13, I did a video on that. Playlist, playlist can be uh, in the playlist section. If you want to watch all of them, I know you won't because no one gives a crap about me, but I'm doing this anyway. I know I've been late. Uh, so here it is. It's called 1.14 Village and Pillage. Now, you may have missed a couple things in 1.14 because there's a lot of stuff in 1.14. I don't know if you watch regularly on videos, so I'm here to kind of tell you what's in 1.14 if you're not caught up with it because you, know, you, you may be busy with Fortnite news or maybe you don't care about Minecraft anymore. You just stumble upon this video and you're like, what's 1.14? I'm going to tell you about it. So, first thing I want to mention are the new textures. There is a new texture pack. Look at the fence. New textures. Grass. Gravel. There, there are new textures. And, like the wood. New texture. Um, yeah. There's textures. Get get used to it. Or you can get a new, or you can get a texture pack. That basically shows the old ones. Which is fine. Uh, you can change signs. You can think, change the colors of signs. I can change blue and you'll see the rest of the video the signs are different colors. A uh, new loading screen, if you load into Minecraft 1.14, you will see a new loading screen, which uh, is pretty cool. It's also a fade-in when uh, Minecraft pops up. It's very cool. Uh, villages got remade, and I made a little village here to demonstrate that. Even though this, is, this isn't what the houses look like, villages are remade into you know, more elaborate works with a lot, a lot of new detail. There's also new blocks, as you can tell. So we're going to the first house here. What do we have here? All right, this little house. And uh, what's this? Uh, a cartography table and a fetching table. So the cartography table. You put a map in here, and it'll basically helps you build maps. Uh, what's the fetching table? Okay, yeah, this, is, this doesn't have function yet. A couple blocks don't function, but I put this put them in a video anyway, just to. Uh, Tell you they exist because it could be adding functions later, 1.15 or maybe 1.14.1. I don't know. Also, all these new blocks are helpful to, to crafting. Like you have normal crafting, but to make it easier on yourself, you have map crafting, and you'll see later there's a lot of other stuff there specifically to to a certain item. So if we go into this building here. There's a let a let lecturing which helps you read books, which is pretty cool. So multiple people can read books. There's nothing to chest here, so go to oh yeah the bell. You can ring the bell or shoot the bow shoot the bell with a bow and arrow to alert villagers that there is enemies nearby and they'll go to the nearest house. And this is a farmhouse with a loom. You put a banner in here and it'll help you create a custom banner. Like you know how you, before like this mojang banner. It would have been much more difficult to make in a crafting table, but now it's easier to make in this loom. Which I don't know if we can still do it in crafting tables, I'm not too sure. And also barrels are like chests, except they're, 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 they're chests. Look at that nice little animation opening. Let's go to this com composter. What you do is, let's just get carrots. Uh, put it in here. Wait for it to do that. Get bone meal. Thank you for you to get bone meal. Originally, it, it was uh, a whole system that you had like a certain percent chance to get this thing filled up. But now it's like every time you put food in there. What is it? No, yeah, it still is. Maybe. You can just get bone meal, and it's really easy. And it's really simple. Don't don't have to kill skeletons. It's that simple. So we got this farm. Got a little well here. No, oh yeah, this is the big stuff. We got stone cutter. You can cut stone. Uh, let's just get cobblestone. I'll just get a piece of cobblestone put in there. You can make uh, two cobblestone slab. There you go. Oh, was a stone cutter, a, gr a grindstone. I mean, grindstone. I want the grindstone. Let's let's get those stone slab back. Let's just. No, maybe I need cobblestone again. I, I don't know what these blocks do half the time, there's so many of them. Alright, I don't know what the grindstone does, maybe we need stone specifically. Um, 
this is bad. No, I don't know what the grindstone does. It's just another block for specific crafting. Now, switching table, yes, switching table has no function like a fletching table. So maybe I'll I just add it in here just because. And if we go into this house here, we have lanterns, which are a new form of light, which are allowed to actually light up an area. And also we have a blast, blast furnace, which cooks food faster, like in mods. You, I remember a mod which is like, like a lot of be better furnaces, like a gold furnace, diamond furnace, which really speeds up the process of cooking, which I just does see, this does as well. Let's go into the more miscellaneous stuff, like stuff that isn't put part of this village. So we have sweet berries, which you have to walk slower and you can pick them up. Use bone meal to get more berries. You have a campfire, which is used to put food on, which then in a couple seconds or a minute it will just pop out the steak. That as that's cooking, we'll go to a crossbow, which is pretty cool. The new weapon of this update, last update was a trident, now we have crossbow. We have bamboo, which is found in jungle biomes, which is used to make scaffolding over here. But, no, it's not scaffolding. You can, in scaffolding, you can go up. If you use the build, you can go down. Really, really helpful. Um, it's really annoying to build up. Now you scaffold and it helps you. Oh, here we go, the steak is done. See, in a minute, you get steak. So now we go to corn flour, which the corn flour is a new type of flour which you can make them die with, including the wither rose, which if you stand on the wither ro ro rose, it will give you wither effect. So don't stand on it. Simple as that. We also got a jigsaw block, we can use the save blocks. I'm not, I'm not a command block guy, so I'm never going to use this, but it's used to connect build together. Like, if it's like, let's just say it's village, you know, one house can be one jigsaw block, there will be another, so. Pretty cool. Uh, we also have leather horse armor. Which is that. It's a new form of horse armor, which you can also colorize it, like regular armor. You have so much customization, and I love it. Which you can, you can make, of course, any color you want with horse armor, and it's amazing. So now we're going on to the mob stuff, the uh, peaceful mobs, I should say. Because, well, you'll we'll, we'll see later, but we have a panda which just spawned in jungle biomes along with bamboo. Pandas roll around, sometimes they can be angry, they can sneeze, or they, they, I mean, he's in a small containment, so it's kind of not the best for him to do what he's supposed to do, but. He can roll around, they sneeze, some of them can be angry and just don't like you. So some of them can be a different color, like a brown variant. That's what, that's what pandas are in real life. They really put a lot of effort into this and it's not forgettable as a pan or the polar bear in 1.10. Because that is a forgettable mob. Now we go on to the wandering trader and the wandering llama. You may be wondering why where is the wandering tr the trader? Well, those guys over there were doing bad stuff with the llama. Basically they trade you stuff. Only one spawns in in each world, so you gotta be gotta be keep an eye out because you want to get some exclusive stuff. Which I'll not know what exclusive stuff because I never see them in the real world. But they're in the game. They don't spawn in villages, so don't expect to see them in villages. They're just wandering, wandering. That's in their name, so they're pretty cool. Now we want the foxes, which these guys are adorable. There's two variants: the orange. And wait, you found snow biomes. If you give them, if you drop any item down, they will pick it up. Like that, and they will drop it at any time. And if you're in survival mode, they will run away. Which you cannot tame them. And that's basically it about the fox. I mean, you give them berries, and they'll, if you carefully breed them, you can make baby foxes. That's what the berries are for. They're found in the Tiaga biome. And yeah, that's about it for the foxes. He gets a normal steak, which shouldn't have gave him, but there we go. We also have cats, which... Oh, he's eating the... Oh, he ate it! That's cool. Dude, that's cool. He has to fade him a steak. Or... Uh, with cats, uh... Cats are the feline in the villages. And the more villagers you have, the more cats will apparently spawn. I think eight will spawn normally, but if more villagers are added in... Uh, more cats will spawn, so they don't replace ocelots, they're still ocelots, 
cats are essentially ocelots, except they're tamed. Oh, they drive with creepers, so that makes ocelots useless right now, which is kind of weird that they add this mobbing, but I decided to include him because he is part of villages. So, he's the only mob that is part of villages. I mean, none of these mobs are in villages, really. So, yeah, let's go into the actual village for the update here. So, these two mobs are very dangerous. There's, there's something called pillages, which, in a village, you'd be given a pillager effect, which basically would, uh, alert you that there could be, could be raids. Now, these raids could fall in many different versions, three, three waves, five waves, ten waves. But these guys are trying to pillage this spawn. Also, the Ravager Beast. These guys are normal. They have crossbows. They shoot you. Which, if, you, if you're prepared well enough, you can take them down. They do kill villagers. Do, do kill villagers. And the Wandering Trader, which is why he's not here. Cause he, because they were killing him. So I was like, you know what? I can't, I can't get prepared, but just demonstrate. We get a villager. They'll start attacking him. Look at that. All the villagers have different textures. So all different depending. Damn, that's a long range. You notice how they're always staring at the villager and you're gonna get him until he kills him. Oh, are you gonna kill him? No. Nope. Oh well. Those are the Ravenger Beast, which you can't ride even though he has a saddle. I mean if you kill him, you get a saddle. That's pretty cool. There's another way to get saddled. But he is very dangerous, I think. He can kill an iron golem if he's uh, on full health. So these are really dangerous. They're, they basically, I think, knock down doors, they knock down buildings, they threw farmland over here, they'll, he'll destroy that. Basically, destroying the village. And, and you manage to destroy all the pillagers and ravenger beast you get heroic uh, you get uh, a potion effect which is called heroic something i don't know the name though give you i'll essentially give you where'd you go oh there uh, essentially it will give you you know trades with certain villagers so let's just say over here i trade this villager you know whatever it'll be the price will be cheap or you know be cheaper because I saved village I saved this butt so also this also was changed as well but I didn't want to go into it because it's not that important even though it's in multiplayer a lot of plugins will be destroyed now thanks to that so keep it villager ass villager come here oh whoop whoop oh god oh no Ooh, that was a close one. Don't want the phantom again now. <laughs> you almost killed. Come on, stop. Oh my god. No, screw you. I'm done here. Uh, Did you. Did I miss anything from Wait 14? There's a lot. Looked at the, the update notes, and I think I've gotten everything. I did forget a couple things, like the panda, because that was literally released when, when they were doing these updates. But then, now this is the official release. Everything I think I want to cover is here. Uh, my favorite block in the entire update is the bell. I guess like ringing it. And let's actually see. Let's see the test. Oh yeah, look. Oh my god. Oh no, he's not getting affected by it. Oh, it's a raid. Get inside the house. He's just opening all my doors. Wow. Alright, so I can't go through carpet. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, well, the villager's stuck. Wait a minute, I can kill it then. Oh, nope, it's good. It's free. Damn, the villager opened my doors. <laughs> That's about it for this update video. If you guys have enjoyed, then hit that like button and subscribe. And share with all your friends. I'm gonna go now, so bye. Uh, yeah, I confess, father, I confess.